hi guys and welcome again to my channel in today's video we're going to learn how to make a garter skirt it's a mini skirt and it has also a ruffle so in this case you're not going to use a zip you're going to use an elastic band so someone who doesn't know how to fix a zipper can make it so without any further ado let's get right into the video so i went ahead and already cut the pieces we need for this skirt and it's very easy all i did was to cut a front and back piece with the same waist measurement we it's a gather skirt so the waist has to be a bit bigger than the normal waist and also depending on how much gathers you want so at this point let me say the measurement i'm going to use my waist is 28 and the total length of this skirt is going to be 21 but then the front is gonna be a bit shorter but then the back is going to be 21 inches so i took um four inches away from the front piece so what i'm going to do to the back piece is to slant this place a little bit so that we'll be able to join it to the front piece when we are sewing so i'll be slanting it a little bit with my chalk so just like this slant it like that and cut the slant this side away let me take this away and then make sure the pieces are aligned so you can have a straight work so this is how the back piece is looking right now and here is the front piece so you can see that the back piece is longer than the front piece so i also went ahead and cut the ruffles or frills for the lower part or the hem of the skirt and then the width measures six um so i'm going to use half for the hem and then half for joining to the hem of the skirt and the total length of the frill is 140 because that also I want the gathers to really come in. So what I'm going to do next is to join the seams. So I'm going to do half inch seam on both sides. The right sides are facing so that is what i'm going to do for the skirt piece and then with the frills i'm going to join the pieces together because i wanted a, because i wanted a long length i had to cut them like pieces because the fabric is not that long so i'll join the pieces together and then what i would do next is to make two basting stitches along the edge of this piece the um, ruffle piece and then after that i'll come back to the camera and show you what we're going to do next so i went ahead and joined the side seam and also knitting the waistline and also the side seam and with the ruffles i did the basting stitch so now it's time to make the gathers so to make the gathers grab each of the thread on both um not both sides but both ends so this is how we have two two sides so grab one from the top and one from the lower side and then pull gently you have to be patient with this else if the thread is going to break you have to 
make the stitch all over again and this is a very long one so just be patient and make sure you pull it gently to the end okay so now that the goddess is done i'll go ahead and make a side seam and then finish the edge and then come back pin it to the hem of the skirt so i'll be back soon so now that the side seam of the frill is ready i'm going to indicate this as the center back so what i'm going to do for the skirt is indicate the center of the back piece so i will fold it into two like this side seam to side seam and then snip the middle so that i would know where the middle is so what i'm going to do is to attach the seam right face right sides facing so there and then i will pin it so now i continue pinning until i come back to this side again so do same to also pin the waistline I'm going to fold it one inch and pin so I'm going to pin it all round So now that I've pinned everything, I'm going ahead to sew very close to the edge and then leave about an inch to enable me to insert the elastic band into the waistline. And also what I'm going to do with the frill is to sew in between the two basting stitches because at the end of the sewing, we are going to remove all the basting stitches. So I'm going to sew them and come back so after sewing the or after attaching the um ruffles to the hem and also making the loop for the elastic band i went ahead and finished the hem of the skirt i just fold it one um half an inch and then just so close to the edge and i also finished the raw edges of this seam where the fruit joins the skirt so what i'm going to do next is to insert the elastic band so i will attach a safety pin to it and then push it through the 
hole that we left. So at this point, I'll pin this side so it doesn't get lost in the loop and then I'll continue pulling it until I get, I'll continue pulling it round until I get to this side again. So I'll join both ends together and then I'll take the safety pin off and then join both ends together. And then I'll make a stitch. So I'll sew them together and then close this seam. So that is all we have left and our skirt is ready. So I'll do that and then I'll come back to the camera. So at this point, our skirt is ready and it's really beautiful. I like the outcome. And at this point, don't forget to remove the basting stitches because I'll be removing mine. I would iron it and wire it to show you guys how it looks on. This tutorial is very easy and i believe everyone can do it it's really really easy and at this point if you haven't subscribed yet please do that and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up so yeah i'll wear it and show you guys and i'll see you again in my next video bye